Okay, we're gonna try this one more time. Uh, believe it or not, I'm actually in Harbor Freight and uh, Minnie is sitting out in the Jeep and she had the Jeep on, the vehicle on, and my phone is connecting to the Jeep. That's why we didn't have any audio. So we're gonna try this one last time. Go ahead and tell me if we have audio why I'm looking around at the trailer wiring kit here for $14.99. Are you looking at what I'm looking at? Look at that. Okay, that is a steal of a deal right there, people. Um, now, everybody knows that Minnie uh, is the U-Haul person out there in Moab. She's the U-Haul queen. And this is where I buy my, uh, this is where I buy my accessories that I sell. Um, look at here here's the deal right here so what i do is i buy these okay thank you very much i'm glad we got thumbs up um minnie's out in the jeep she didn't want to come in with me so my phone connects to the jeep i'm actually inside the store right now and the phone was literally hooked up so when i was talking minnie was listening to me talk in the jeep <sighs> very confusing but we're here so um I just want to let everybody know this is Father's Day weekend sale. Now, here's something I like to show when I come into Harbor Freight. If you go in the very back far corner, this is their super low price discount shelf where you can find a lot of stuff on sale. A lot of stuff. Um, I mean, look at right here. All right, this is a cordless Bauer 20 volt lithium. This is a, a Sawzall. And look at that price on that, people. $34.99. All you gotta do is buy the battery for it and you're down the road. Here's something that's actually pretty cool. For 52 bucks, this is a half inch composite. This is a right angle air impact for $52. And it says it has 400 foot pounds of torque. And I'm sure the torque is on the, um, the off setting, not the on setting. But that's a pretty good deal right there. Um, here's a pal, uh, okay, this is really, this ain't worth it. We're not going to look at that stuff, but, um, always go back into the corner of the store and find the purple tag items. You can really get some good deals. Here's a set of open box wrenches and it looks like one or two of them are missing, but for $13, I mean, you know, and I want to go ahead and say something real quick, real quick. Do you see this name right here? And I got a video coming up where I actually took uh, the torque, I mean, uh, the breaker bar, the ratchetable breaker bar that they have, the Pittsburgh house, and I torqued that thing down to 400 foot pounds and it held up, it didn't break. So I'm letting everybody know that Pittsburgh, the Pittsburgh Pro Tools are the cheapest tools that you're gonna buy over at Harbor Freight. But I'm gonna let you know, this is my opinion, they are very, very good high quality tools. They might not be the nicest finished tools or the, you know, the most comfortable in your hand type tool, but I will say from experience, Pittsburgh, Pittsburgh Pro Tools sold exclusively right here at Walmart. I mean, at Walmart, I'm talking Harbor Freight is a good buy. Okay, single hose clamp. Oh, look at that right there, guys. That's a hose clamp set for uh, high pressure, high pressure hoses. Now, where are you gonna find a box of those things? Only at Harbor Freight. Wow. So we were over here talking about um, trailer stuff. And this is where Minnie buys all her stuff because of this right here. You can see that that's $11. So what Minnie will do, is she'll come in here and she'll buy four or five of these. Now I see they only got three here right now. But she buys four or five of those, and then what she does is she marks them up to $12, $13, and then she resells them. So if you're in the business of buying and selling, I'm going to be honest with you, Harbor Freight's a good place to come buy stuff and resell it. Um, I buy the hitches here as well, uh, the hitch balls. We're getting those for $8. And then I'm turning around and selling those for like 16 bucks. So, yeah. Uh, buying stuff at 
Harbor Freight to resell, if you have a small business, is actually a good situation, believe it or not. Um, I buy the straps here and I get the ratchetable ones. Where are we at? I don't see them. And you can usually get these straps on sale. Um, these are the ones I normally get right here, I believe. And you can usually get these on sale for like eight bucks. And when they're on sale, like here's some right here. Look at these. Now these are heavy duty ratchet straps, regular $16. You can get them for 12, uh, 13. And then, you know, that's a pretty good buy people for throwaway bullshit straps. So I hope everybody out there is having a good day today. Uh, once again, this is uh, Father's Day weekend and we're just randomly walking through Harbor Freight looking at items. We got to keep it low, low. I'm not supposed to be doing this. And there's a lady right there that works here. So we'll kind of uh, stay out of her way. Uh, they have already warned me once about doing live videos in Harbor Freight that they don't like it, but I got to do what I got to do, people. So anyway, we're just randomly walking around once again, casually shopping and looking for sales. Uh, look at this right here, for instance. $79.97, a portable wheel balancer. I mean, how many guys out there need one of those for $79? Um, is this thing worth it? Um, my opinion is no, it's not. You're better off just going to a Mexican tire shop and having them balance your tires. Uh, what else we got here for sale? We don't know. Here we go, look at this, guys. We got the four inch magnetic parts holder. Those are actually handy, to be honest with you, especially when you're working on stuff, but they got them down to $1.49 this weekend due to the Father's Day uh, sale. That's actually a pretty good deal. Um, anybody that doesn't shop at Harbor Freight, you're stupid. I'm going to tell you that right now. You're stupid. You're an idiot. And you don't know what you're doing. Due to the fact that, uh, look at this, for $5.99. Look at that. Don't tell me that's not a smart buy. Okay? I'm telling you now. If you don't shop at Harbor Freight, and you're that guy sitting there saying Harbor Freight sucks, and all this other shit, <laughs> you're the one losing out, pal. You're just jealous because you spent all your money over at Snap-on. There was something that I wanted to show you. And I think I'm going to go ahead and end up buying one for a Bondo. I mean, for a Buffing. Uh, they don't have them. They just came out with a roll-around cart. They just came out. Now, look at what they got here. This is nice. I like that. This is the U.S. General. Look at this. The end cabinet. 279 Wow. Look at that, I'd never even seen that before. That's beautiful. That's a nice cabinet right there. And you don't have to have a Harbor Freight toolbox to use it. Um, anybody that doesn't know, you can see how the end cabinet hooks on. It just hooks on the lip there and it just hangs there. But uh, is that price a good price? I guess compared to Snap-on or to Mac tools, yeah, it probably is. Um, but that's a nice add-on to any box, if you have a box. There was a roll-around cart. I don't know, I can't find it. Um, let's walk over here. Uh, they just had them on sale in multi-colors. Here it is, right here. And I was looking at this online, and for the price that they have it on sale for, it actually seemed like a good buy, but I was reading the reviews on it, and the reviews were saying, that it wasn't really that good of a deal. So as I look at it, I'm starting to agree that that might not be a good deal. Um, they're wanting $120 for one of these. Um, I'm thinking that uh, we're gonna stay away from that. Um, I actually bought one of these carts, not like this one particular one, but I bought a Harbor Freight cart and I literally had to weld it together because it was so flimsy and cheap so once again not everything in harbor freight is worth the money okay not everything there is some stuff that's worth it but not everything is worth it now anybody that lives in california look what we got 
All right, we got the full power lawnmower. Wow. And that is electric, people. That's electric. So if you live in California in 2035, you better have one of those bitches. Um, they're giving away some free stuff this weekend, and this is what they're giving away. Uh, if you purchase something, you get a free flashlight. So if you do come to Harbor Freight this weekend, uh, remember to get your free uh, your free ultra bright work light because I know for a fact they're giving those away for free. So once again, I hope everybody's going to have a beautiful weekend. The weather's going to be hot. If you live down in Texas or in the south, you're going to be taking, you're going to feel like you've been taking showers. Uh, I just did a review on these people. I just did a review on these. And let me tell you, it might not turn out to be a good one. So make sure before you purchase these flapper discs, before you purchase these. Now this one here, I have never seen this one for $9. This is a four times life, uh, lifelong, four times, last four times as long. Now the review I did was the one that you get uh, two on sale for this price. So make sure you watch that video before you go buying the uh, Harbor Freight brand discs. Um, I do a lot of reviews on Harbor Freight stuff. I like doing reviews on Harbor Freight stuff. And the reason I like to come in this store here is because it's always clean and full. A lot of the Harbor Freight stores you go in, um, they don't have a lot of stuff. They're short on supplies. But this one, this particular one right here in Price, Utah, happens to be a full bore store. So, um, that's about it, really, guys. I just wanted to get on here and let you know I'm walking through Harbor Freight. I'm checking Harbor Freight out. We see a lot of deals going on. Uh, super glue. How many people out there need that? You know what I'm saying? $1.49. Come on. All right. If, if you cut yourself with your razor knife, you should have a, a bottle of this in your pocket to, to uh, glue yourself back together. Okay? Come on, guys. Looky here. Okay? They do sell the high output Pro 80. $21.99. I've seen these in Walmart, this particular brand in Walmart, for like 45 bucks. Okay? If you need a, a glue gun, look here. Here's your glue sticks. Is that price, is that a good price, people? Anybody that uh, works with glue sticks, leave a comment below. I want to know. I want to know. Um, if you got a trailer, this is a good buy. Put some of these on the side of your trailer so people can see you at nighttime. Good action going on here, people. A lot of beautiful stuff. Uh, here's our clearance rack. Let's see what we got over here today. Um, look at this. That's brand new for $34. I think I'll go ahead and get that before I buy the used one. Uh, a lot of people ask me what kind of air dryer system do I use. Um, the system I use is a lot more expensive than what you're looking at here. My system actually costs about $1,200 in my paint booth. Would I use the Harbor Freight? Would I use this Harbor Freight system? I would possibly use that for $37.97 or whatever price that is. I would actually possibly use this if I was at my house in my garage at home. I wouldn't spend thousands and thousands of dollars. And I would actually test it out and see if it worked. And if it didn't work, you can always bring it back within 30 days and get a free uh, refund. So, you know, I get a lot of people asking about that. Um, here's a motorcycle wheel balancer. Look at there, $29, guys. So, once again, we're just randomly walking around, looking at stuff that they sell. And maybe you might see something that is a good deal, kind of like this right here. Anybody that's never seen one of these, these are miracle workers. This is actually a metal nibbler, and it works all the way up to 18 gauge, I believe. And um, if you need to cut some sheet metal out, this little air nibbler, I actually have one of these, not the Chicago pneumatic, but I actually have one of these, and they actually work very, very well. So if you're working with a lot of sheet metal and you got an air compressor, buy one of those. It's a good situation. Uh, double flaring tool. Anybody doing brakes, look at that. For ten dollars, ten dollars. Okay, I bought my kit from Snap-on for like, I think I paid uh, two hundred bucks. 
all right? But look what you get in this. And once again, look, Pittsburgh. I will be a verified fact that Pittsburgh tools are actually good. For $10, look at that. You get all the double flare sizes and all the tools necessary. A nine piece job. Yeah, that there, my friend, that is worth $10. That is a good deal. Um, fuel injection pump. Now, is that to clean? That's just a tester, but look how much that is. I mean, I can't believe this. This is unbelievable. $12.97 for a fuel injection pump tester. Did you just hear what I just said? $12.97, guys. Wow. That's insane. That is totally insane. So, um, how's everybody doing out there? I just want to go off uh, record here. I want to go off subject, and we're going to talk about uh, a company that I bought some parts from called CPP. And anybody that saw that video, that review video I did, make sure that you check out the upcoming review video, part two, of what's missing, because you're going to be very, very shocked, and you're going to want to see that video, because I'm going to tell you now, I was a pissed off motherfucker. Okay, I'm not going to fucking lie. I'm not going to bullshit you. I'm not going to sit here and be nice about it. I was fucking hot. Okay, my customer, Mr. UK, waited four fucking months to get these parts and there were pieces missing and then they treat me like shit. They treat me like I'm a scumbag. They fucking threaten me on the phone. I don't fucking think so, pal. I don't fucking think so. So make sure you watch that video. You are not going to believe how these fucking people treated my friend Pete, Mr. Fucking Nice Guy that I am. Anybody out there that knows me knows I'm a fucking nice guy. And I'm not going to take that kind of shit from nobody, motherfucker. Nobody. Plain and simple. So, yeah, let's get back to uh, what we were talking about. Um, a lot of sales going on at Harbor Freight all the time. I will say one thing right here. Look at the price on these gloves. Look at the price on these gloves. Look, I did a live video in here one time and the prices were like $30 for a box of these gloves. And I told everybody on the video, do not buy your fucking gloves here. This is a total scam, a total ripoff. How they can say that there's a shortage on gloves when they got shelves full of them is beyond my imagination. Of course, that was when the yeah big pandemic was going on. Um, so they were ripping people off left and right on these. And I'm gonna say that right here in the store as I talk about this but they have came down considerably uh, down to almost normal price of what a fucking rubber throwaway glove should be. You know, that's something else that I wanna talk about is how the big box corporation stores take advantage of you, the consumer, when there's a crisis so they can make an extra buck. I think it's total bullshit. I think that uh, the big box corporation store is making trillions of dollars while you and me, the consumer, are sitting here, uh, you know, sweating our nut sacks off trying to make a fucking living. So when you come in here to get something like this and it says $32 a box, you're like, what the fuck? This is bullshit. This is total bullshit. But I see they came down price. Uh, I'm probably going to pick me up a box because I need one. And these are the ones my friend Pete uses right there just to let you know. Um, these ones actually hold up really good. I actually tried the five mil and I mean those things tear as you're putting them on so um, Get the seven mil if you're gonna get it and I get the XL large because that's the biggest ones They sell and I noticed that when I put these on they don't seem to be extra large They're a little bit smaller and they fit tight so if you got big hands like my friend Pete and you don't like tight rubber gloves no, it's the triple X here, or the dual X. So, um, I see they don't have any discs. I see, I need to get me a disc, people. I need one, I need a disc, but uh, we don't have it. Anybody that watches my other channel, um, make sure you get on there and check out that video about the situation at hand on the suspension parts. You're just, it's unbelievable. I'm still furiously pissed off to this day how these fucking people treated me. They literally told my customer, let me go ahead and tell you this. They literally told my customer that um, we are not sending your builder 
your mechanic any more parts. We're not going to send him any more parts. They literally told him, and they tried to, they tried to take my customer and twist it all around and, and say, oh, well, we got everything recorded, and we'll send you the recordings and blah, blah. I don't give a fuck what you send, motherfucker. Send the shit. I can give a rat crap about... And my customers the same way, like, why are you telling me this? I just paid you four thousand fucking dollars. I don't need your soap opera action. It's bullshit, people. Total fucking bullshit. I say let's get back to Harbor Freight. Let's go ahead and talk about good shit and forget the bad shit. That's all I'm trying to say. That's it. That's all I'm trying to tell you. So I actually bought one of these and I'm gonna tell you once again, look at the name on that. Pittsburgh. I'm going to tell you, look at the price on that. $23.99. $24 for that giant bastard. That's a 36 inch. 36 inch. I mean, you just can't beat the price out here, Harbor Freight people. You just can't beat the price. Um, I'm not a big fan of this type of a blower, but for this price right here, I could be. I could be that guy that says, you know what? I love that son of a bitch, and that's what I want for that price right there, for three fucking dollars. All right, well, this is Pete, my friend Pete, your friend Pete. I'm going to let you all go. Walking around in uh, Harbor Freight, checking it out, and uh, security cameras. Look at there. They got the security. They got everything in Harbor Freight, people, everything. Security lights, security cameras, they got it all right here. So this is Pete, and... Um, if you don't shop at Harbor Freight, I'm going to go ahead and say it again, but I'm going to turn the camera around so you can actually see me say it. You're a dumbass. Okay, you're a dumbass if you don't shop at Harbor Freight. This is the fucking place. Okay, this is, this is it. Uh, it. It's a candy store for guys like me and you. Go check it out. If you're, if you're sitting at home and you're bored, if you're sitting at home and, and you're... You, you know, you're depressed, go to Harbor Freight. Bring 25 bucks with you and buy something. That's all I'm trying to tell you. They're not paying me to do this. They're not paying me to do this. I'm doing this because I believe in the product and I believe they're doing it right. Kind of like the winch right here. See that winch? That's the winch I use. I had a guy tell me, you need to get rid of your winch and get a, uh, you need to get rid of your come along uh, your winch puller come along and, and you need to buy a winch for your trailer. And I told him, uh, if I do that, then I won't get my workout when I'm loading a car. You know what I mean? That, that, that's going to make me more lazy is what it's going to do by buying this. Um, so yeah, there you go. I would like to, I'm going to buy this right here. I'm going to get this folding utility shovel and I'm going to tell you why I'm going to get that. Um, I'm getting ready to buy many. I don't know if anybody knows. I don't know if y'all know or not, but uh, let me turn that around. Me and Minnie actually take our razor um, and we go on the back roads of the mountains and we look for uh, abandoned mines. And we actually find them, believe it or not. We actually find abandoned mines. And um, we actually find old mine camps from the 1800s. So I thought what I'd do for Minnie is I'd buy her a, a metal detector. I'd go ahead and buy her a metal detector so when we go out to these mines and we, we go way, way out in the middle of nowhere, she can take the metal detector and she can find stuff. So I thought, you know, that would be something that Minnie would like to do. So I thought, well, you know, for the price of that, let's see how much this thing is one more. I mean, that's $14.99, guys. Okay, $14.99. You see it just like I do right here. Okay, there it is. Look at that. Yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and get that for Minnie, and we're going to leave it in my razor. So when we go um, mine hunting, she can actually take the uh, metal detector that I'm going to buy her, and then she'll have a little shovel to uh, dig her way out to the golds and riches. Hopefully she'll find enough gold. I can retire. I can actually take it easy. And, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and put that under my arm right there, and then we're going to walk out with that. So once again... Um, don't let these piece of shit scumbag online internet fucking mail places, uh, you know, rule you. The guy threatens me on the phone. He says, uh, you say one more word, I'm going to hang up on you. And that's the end of it. Seriously? $4,000. 
three and a half, four months. You're going to hang up on me, bitch. Yeah, okay, sure thing, asshole. Okay, enough bullshitting. Let's get out of here. I got to get outside. Benny's in the car waiting. And I hope everybody enjoyed this little video. Take it easy. And um, if you're a painter, hold on, what do we got here for 20? Okay, it says this is a 200 pound capacity. Uh, this is a folding stand. Like, you know, if you were going to work on something, paint something um, for 21 bucks, I'd have to really think about that one. I don't know. Uh, it might be tempting to buy that if I needed it in my shop, but uh, the construction of it isn't really that good. But it's Harbor Freight, people. It's Harbor Freight. We'll see you later. Take it easy. My friend Pete, your friend Pete, right here in Harbor Freight, having a good time walking around and making my wife happy because I bought her a shovel, a fold-up shovel. She's really going to love that. Do you think she will? I don't know. We'll find out. Take it easy, guys.